walk is day four. Actually, I probably need to take this off. Um, I'm gonna do the dishes, and my hair is on puff, but it needs to be washed today because it's getting dry and tingly. Um, I hate wash day, especially now that I'm pregnant. And this and I make up, of course. And I'm gonna make <coughs> I'm gonna make some banana bread. Just took Dodger out. He's a lot to handle. We need a harness for him because he's already um, stronger than the leash at nine weeks old. So we're gonna have to get a harness. So okay, time to do the dishes. You guys won't be able to see this. I'll be back with you when I make my banana bread. She has a craving for a large fry, pregnancy craving for a large fry. I think McDonald's is disgusting. Um, well, I don't take that back. Uh, it's not too bad, but it's, I don't like to eat it really. Um, but yeah, I'm getting in this garage, but there we go. All right, anyways, about to make this run, pregnancy run for her. I'll see y'all in a bit, peace. All right, y'all. So my wife doesn't believe that McDonald's is far. Like, it's, well, it's actually amazing to us that we live in uh, a bigger city and we can't find a McDonald's within two. Or the closest McDonald's to us, I just looked it up, uh, is it's like three miles away from us. Uh, she said, "Well, no, there's one close." I said, "No, there isn't. Uh, it's like three miles away." So I have to go three miles away from the house when there's like Chipotle. And um, what else is in that area? Jersey Mike's, Panera Bread, Taco Bell, all these other places. She want McDonald's. But anyways, you know, so what, I mean, what holiday movies are y'all watching? You know, holiday movies are y'all watching? Comment, put them in the comments below. Is there anything that uh, we should be looking out for? Any holiday movies that we should be checking out? Uh, post them in the comments below. I'm looking for some good holiday movies to watch for the next, uh, what's the day? Fourth, fifth? Next 25 days, something like that? Well, I guess up until Christmas. Uh, also, post your favorite Christmas movie. Your favorite Christmas movie. My favorite Christmas movie. It's a tie, actually. It's a tie between Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, and The Santa Claus, Tim Allen's The Santa Claus. Those are my two favorite Christmas movies. Um, now, holiday movies, I guess, so you could throw in, if you want to throw in, uh, you know, like, uh, I think it's called New Year's Eve. It was done a few years ago, where it's like these various different stories, and at the end, they kind of all come together. That was a pretty cool movie. I like that one. I like watching that one. Have you guys ever, like, gone to, let's say, like, a different burger spot or a different fast food restaurant, but then you went, you didn't like their fries, so you went and got McDonald's fries or fries that you or a place that you like. Like for me, I used to do that with Wendy's. I can't stand Wendy's fries. I can't stand Wendy's fries. Hold on. Urban. Sorry, I lost y'all for a second. But anybody's ever done that where you've gone to a particular fast food place and you didn't like their fries, so you got like your you got what you wanted from there, but then you got like 
the fry from somewhere else. I used to do that all the time with Wendy's. I can't stand Wendy's fries. Wendy's fries are just disgusting to me. So I would go and get like a, a Wendy's uh, uh, burgers because Wendy's burgers hit. And I would go to McDonald's and just give me my just get the fries from there. I don't know if anybody else does that. But uh I used to do that all the time. I can eat Chipotle every day of the week. But uh I like help Chipotle. Uh, my wife, she she loves she used to love crab legs, but now, you know, with the pregnancy, she don't think she'll ever go back to them, which is weird to me. So like she that was her favorite thing to eat. B love sauce and all that. Shout out to B Love. B love sauce and all that. So she probably gonna be making the B love sauce and stuff for me. Well, I eat crab legs and she she has something else. But right now she can't even be around it. And she said, she said, you know, most of the time, I don't think I ever go back to eating it. Um, but I love crab legs. I, I can eat that like hot and juicy every day in some of these uh these crawfish places out here. So it, it go hard. You know, from my point of view, the pregnancy has been, you know, outside of the hormonal the hormonal horm they said that word hormonal hormonal i'm supposed to be a scholar i can't say hormonal hormonal uh stuff it's been it's been pretty cool you know she you know she it, this pregnancy has been hard on her uh it was not what she expected but um it, outside of that that piece and having to try to manage the emotional piece of it for me it's been uh it's been pretty cool. It's been pretty cool seeing how her, her body changes and things like that. Even though she'll tell y'all like <laughs> she hates it because she 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 don't like gaining weight and uh, you know she's always been kind of a fit in the individual, healthy and all that. So just to see her body change like that does something to her emotionally. But for me, I'm just I'm I'm excited because for one, you know I was I was gonna be excited no matter what I got, but since i have two boys it, it it it's really it's really hit me and um it's it's amazing how how god uh, uh assigned you how god will assign you a particular task like raising two boys particularly uh in this season this in this in this era of time that we're in and you know the responsibility that comes with that and, you know, it can be a little nerve-wracking, you know, it can be a little nerve-wracking at times, but, and then also when you know how, I, oh, I know how I used to be, I used to be crazy. And sometimes they say you get what you know, uh, sometimes your, your, your kids carry out a lot of the same traits and things uh, that you carry out, but I'm gonna try to make sure that don't happen. And I believe that me and my wife, we put ourselves in great positions educationally, occupationally to to give our our kids you know a better life than what we have for her for, for her you know she she typically grew up in a, in a you know your typical two-parent home even though they had you know everybody has their issues and, and things like that uh, but for me me and my family we kind of grew up below the poverty line you know it was always moving uh, you know we've been my family was evicted a few times me and my, my mom and my sisters and I so for me, my, my sole focus is to make sure my kids and my family have a lot better life than what I had. But uh, I'm excited, y'all. It's, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be an amazing time. Um, glad you guys are following us on the journey. Drop some tips. Parents, drop some parenting tips, man, and help us get after it. All right? I'm going to order this food. I'll see y'all in a bit. Ignore what I said earlier. I'm off on my vlogmas days. Like... I named, I said the wrong date. When I was editing the video today, I was like, Veronica, that's the wrong date. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. So we're gonna bake some Funfetti cake. I have been craving this. I don't usually crave too many sweets, but I've been craving this. Yeah, it's at the box. <laughs> Lewis is, we're just gonna, I don't even know. I don't know, is, does anybody have a, a Funfetti, um, from scratch, I've been telling her I'm gonna get into baking. Like, cause yeah, all my friends, make it from scratch. all my friends, all my friends are they, like they're cooked. Like, all my milk, like PA, he likes to cook. He be in the kitchen. My cousin Tony is, I mean, a grill master uh, extraordinaire. I mean, he is. That's what he do. Mm -hmm. uh, and so a lot of my other friends, 
uh, he wants to Jeremy, like Jay, they, they all they love being in the kitchen. <laughs> but I need something different. I ain't gonna be. I, I want to be. Shh. What? Don't be so loud. It's, it's all right. I want to be, you know, the friend, the male friend that bakes, no, that can make like spray. anything from scratch. You give me like five ingredients, I'll make you a dessert that is like off the chain that you never heard of. Uh, but I'm gonna tell her I want to take some baking classes. How do you make funfetti from scratch? One cup of water. No, it's sprinkles, you silly. That's all. No, it's... when you bake inside of it. Yeah. You bake sprinkles. Literally, it's mixed with sprinkles. That's funfetti. Anyway. It's literally vanilla cake mix. You want this kind of? Uh... Honey, one cup of water. This cup, this water, or you want to? Or... Yeah. But we need to put it at eye level. What are you doing? One cup. I, I fill it up past it, then I pour it out. It's easier that way. As you can see, she, she, she don't know how to use a measuring cup. No, you don't, because that's not what you're. You don't have to get down eye level and watch the water go in. No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> you dummy. No, you have to put it on the. But once you fill it up, that's way above eye level. It is. And it is one cup, and I didn't have to do that. <laughs> Ew, you got it's Stop, honey. Stop. Okay, come on. Because you're already irritating me. Remember, like, I don't know when y'all going to see my vlog. And video. I let the vlog know that it, you were being dumb. Anyways, anyways, you don't see, you guys didn't see my uh, vlog. I don't know if it, which, which one it's, it's going to be at. It's day five. Oh, today? Yeah. You're going to see my when I talk about the hormonal uh, stuff. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. Controlling them things. We're controlling them hormones. I <laughs> <laughs> hate you so much. Like, I can't see you. <laughs> hey, let me do it. Oh, what's wrong? Did you break my mixer? Is it there? No, I can't get the second one in for some reason. Okay, so the cake is in the oven, and we wait. We wait, but we should do it earlier because it has to cool, and then we can ice it. So <laughs> what the matter? What the matter? You want to come out and play? See, I'm making cake, and include me. I'm part of this family too now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What the matter, Dodger? So, forgot we did ice the cake we, and everything like that. We forgot to vlog that, which y'all know what icing the cake is. But here is uh, our final product, which most of y'all know what a fun fitty cake look like. But for those who want to see, came out pretty good my icing skills aren't the best but gets the job done now it's time to kill <laughs> it's time to kill this cake <clears throat> yeah, i'll work on that all right y'all we're getting out of here wifey don't want to be on camera because her belly is out <laughs> so we'll see y'all at the next one mm. oh you see is a big belly happy vlogmas you guys Today's day seven, and um, today, Dodger, I don't know where he went. Yeah, he's on your side. Oh, there he is. He's getting a, his first puppy bath at PetSmart today. Gosh. Oh, he peed on the, the thing. That's 
pee. <gasps> Is it wet? Yeah, it's wet. Like a puddle. Trash. Because now you're in bigger trouble. That's your fault. Dog. Well, that's why that thing is back there. <laughs> yeah, but he's never peed like that before. Penny, we're going to the Catlins. I know. Oh, okay. But I took him out before we went. <sighs> <laughs> Look, and you ain't innocent. He listens to Lou, like, if Lou comes out, he like straightens up. But with me, I think he knows. <laughs> I can't. I can't get down there with him. But if Lewis does, like if Lewis comes out, just walks out the room, he immediately starts acting better. So this is first time peeing in the car. I'm not sure what's going on because he hasn't been having accidents. So I'm not sure what that was about. But getting too comfortable. That's what it is. So now I'm gonna have to drop him off, clean the car. It's a great day. Doctor, come in. Come this way. Come in. Okay, we're in PetSmart. There's copyright. Oh, it stopped. But we just dropped him off. How do you feel as a puppy dad? <laughs> I'm not fine. <laughs> There's another dog in there crying, but I, I don't know. I hope he wasn't hurting her. I'm sure he wasn't. But she's getting her nails trimmed, a Dalmatian, and she's not having it. <laughs> well, she just saw her owner, so she's ready to. Looks so crazy, but I had to show my bump from the side because, home girl. Is tired. <laughs> I just well, Lewis did his his food. This is Dodger's food. It's wet and dry, and he was going super cuckoo for cocoa puffs because he really wanted to eat. Also, I got these cute bowls at Home Goods. They were only there we go. They were only four ninety nine each or three ninety nine. Three ninety nine each. And they're ceramic, they're like stoneware, it's awesome. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Okay. Anyways, oh my gosh, all you can see is my belly. <laughs> I wanted to come on here because I want to show you guys how crazy he goes for food. He needed to go out because he's been napping all afternoon. And Lewis is like, no, you're going out. And he was pulling <sighs> that boy. Okay. Look at this cute Santa Claus that we have. It's not Christmas anymore. I need to get rid of that. But isn't this Santa cute? I found this at TJ Maxx and they have a bunch of black Santas. So I thought it was super cute. And I have another one, excuse me, by the tree. He's gold. Get it, boo-boo. Eat it. Eat all the food. We feed you. Acting like eating like we don't feed you. I know. Is it good, Dodger? Dodger! <laughs> Nothing will stop him from eating. <laughs> oh, there we go. A face, a look up, a breath. <laughs> He's hilarious. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. 